Hello everyone, I am back today with a video with Susanna Lee. If you caught our first installment of What's New, then you saw us show off our new products and I'm gonna use some of those products on the layout today. I showed you a sketch there. I needed a little bit of inspiration for today's layout, so I hit up my Pinterest boards and I found this sketch, that sketch from Jennifer Edwardson. I actually don't end up following it much at all, just a little bit. Uh, and just in the way the photos are put and the row of circles underneath, those were the elements that really caught my eye when I was looking through Pinterest. So I decided I would go ahead and show you that sketch and then I'm gonna kind of make it my own. So I'm starting with a sheet of craft cardstock. It's been a long time since I've worked on a craft cardstock uh, base, but that's what I'm gonna do today. And I'm using my Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink just to ink up the edges of my background paper. I want to make sure that I'm getting my photos nice and straight. So I'm gonna use a ruler and I am going to place these photos about one third of the way down my page. So they're not right in the middle, but they do kind of cross that middle line. Once I have my photos into place, I'm going to cut lots of strips of pattern paper from the Honeybee Stamps Adventure Awaits collection. So I have going to use both the pattern paper pad and the pad that is just the diagonal stripes and the polka dots. I'm going to end up choosing, I think eight patterns all together. Then I'm gonna take the six inch side of the pattern paper and I'm gonna cut one inch strips. So all of these strips are gonna be one inch by six inch and I'm gonna grab two strips from each of the patterns that I chose. I'm going to cut edges onto each of these strips. So some of them are gonna just have a diagonal cut, almost like a ribbon cut, and then some of them are going to be cut like a fishtail. I'm gonna trim off some of the edge of them. So none of them are going to be six inches long. They're gonna range in height, and I'm going to tuck them under and over each other and layer them up across that section underneath my photos. I'm not too worried if there's gaps between these strips of paper and the photos a little bit. Um, I didn't cut them perfectly, I didn't cut them straight, simply because I am going to cover that join there where the banner pieces hit my photos with lots of fun circles. These two photos are from our family photo shoot this past fall probably one of the last photo shoots we will do as a family since uh, Logan, who is going to be a senior this coming year, he will get his senior pictures taken in August. I can't even believe it. And then um, I can't imagine we will get a whole lot of like family photos after that. So these are getting their own album. I had an extra strip of green paper and I just tucked it up underneath the photos. I'm actually going to use that green paper as a base for my title and a little bit of uh, embellishment up there to kind of balance out all of the embellishment that's going on down below. You see me now punching oodles and oodles and oodles of circles. This is the largest circle punch I have. I think it's an inch and a quarter and I am punching one circle from each of the patterns that I used for the banners. In addition to all of the circles, I'm also going to add some canvas flare from Scrap and Happy Studio and some wood veneer from my stash to the circles just to give them something different. I didn't want the whole strip to be just paper circles. I also wanted to include some different textures and so that is what I'm going to do now. So I'm getting the larger circles in place and right now I am thinking about how much I'd like to introduce a little bit more color to this layout. And I'm thinking about how I can do that. So I really like this wood veneer. I really like where the canvas flares are. I don't wanna change any of that. I just wanna add a little bit more. 
So I went ahead and I took a dip into my stash and I pulled a couple really old embellishments out. These embellishments are actually uh, contained in a, so I have this little canvas uh, storage container in my scrapbook room and I call it the, the, la the last chance bin. Um, and I keep things in there that I really wanna make a point to use. And as the bin kind of gets emptied out, I fill it up with more things as I go. So I went to that bin first. And then I went back into the stripes and the polka dot six by eight pad. And I pulled out some of the light blue and the gray blue colors that are in that pad. I thought that the gray blue colors would be a nice pop of extra color. These are washi strips from a really old collection from Pretty Little Studio. And they just, the colors worked perfectly um, to kind of give that little bit of extra pop to this layout. At first I thought I was going to continue to use those Pretty Little Studio products. And I had this fall, uh, acrylic piece and I had all these little words. I'm going to play with these words a lot because I sort of wanted to add them, but then I wasn't sure if I liked how that was looking. So I'm not going to put anything down. I'm just going to go through them and kind of audition a couple. And while I'm auditioning the title and trying to figure out what I want to do, I am going to go ahead and punch a whole bunch of circles from some more of that pattern paper. So I pulled out this beautiful, like, light aqua and gray blue color from the diagonal and the pinstripes. It's pinstripes and polka dots play paper pad from the Adventure Awaits collection. And that's going to pull bring in just that perfect little extra bit of color. And see, I'm going back to the um, words, try to figure out what I want to do for a title. Ignore me. Okay. So back to these papers, I'm going to punch quite a few of the circles and I'm going to use them to help break up some of the brown. I think that that's what was bugging me. There was a lot of shades of brown, which don't get me wrong. I love brown and these are fall photos, but I just wanted a little bit of a fresher uh, color in with the brown. And I absolutely love what the addition, the addition of that blue did. And don't worry about that whole mess going on up above. I, I'm going to pare that down and it'll look fabulous in just a minute. One of the things I had taken out of that canvas box were these gray blue Prima butterflies. I only had three of them, three or four of them. Uh, and I don't know why I, it must have been the color because the color was really good. And I am going to place them. And as soon as I start to put them down, I absolutely love them. So they are staying for sure. But they are going to need a little bit of extra um, adhesive and a little bit of extra care because they are quite old. One of the other things I pulled out of that, my stash was this thankful. And as soon as I pulled up the other stuff and sat that down, I went, yeah, that works so much better. So this canvas thankful is from Bramble Fox. And the sentiment works. These are photos of my son and he's fabulous. And I am very thankful for him. So it works. Um, another thing I don't think I mentioned was the, um, Wood veneer, that's from Colorcast Designs. And then, of course, the beautiful canvas flare. Uh, from everything on my layout, I think the only available stuff are the 6 by 8 paper pads and the canvas flare. So I'll be sure to link those up in the description box down below. And the sequins, always sequins. These are twig and twine sequins from Speak Mom Scraps. I love sequins. I am going to cluster them in groups of three all around my punched circles. I'm going to adhere the uh, acrylic piece. And then for one last little detail, I'm going to grab three different colors of Nouveau Drops. I grabbed, hold on, I have them here. 
Copper Penny. My old eyes, they can't read. Buttermilk. And Vintage Drops in Chocolate Chip. My Nuvo Drops are getting old. I need, need, need to use them more. I tend to uh, go for the lovely, lovely um, sequence and then the Nuvo Drop set. So you can see me kind of like playing with my Nuvo Drops. Just work, just work. <laughs> Be sure to head over and don't miss Susanna's video because you know that girl is so talented. Here are all of the beautiful close-ups. You can check out the description box if you want more information or links to some of the products I used. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye.